Hi, I am Dr. Nitin. In the previous video, we learned about left bundle branch block. In this video, I am going to discuss how to identify right bundle branch block in an electrocardiogram. This is the ECG of a 60 year old male patient. This ECG is not completely normal. We will try to find out whether this patient has right bundle branch block or left bundle branch block in this ECG. First of all, we will understand the criteria for right bundle branch block. Then we will try to apply this criteria in our ECG. These are the characteristic ECG findings of right bundle branch block. First of all, QRS duration should be greater than or equal to 120 milliseconds. Second, there should be an RS arc prime pattern in lead V1 and V2. In leads 1 and V6, the S wave is of greater duration than the R wave or the S wave is greater than 40 milliseconds. In lead V1, the R wave peak time is greater than 50 milliseconds. And in leads V5 and V6, there is a normal R wave peak time. Regarding T waves in right bundle branch block, the T waves tend to be discordant to the terminal QRS vector. This results in inverted T waves in right precordial leads and upright T waves are seen in left precordial leads. Coming back to our ECG, now we shall try to apply this criteria in this electrocardiogram. QRS duration is more than 120 milliseconds. It is almost 160 milliseconds here. There is RSR prime pattern in leads V1 as well as V2. In lateral leads V5 and V6, the S wave is of greater duration than the R wave. And also the S wave is greater than 40 milliseconds in duration. R wave duration here is 60 milliseconds and S wave duration is 80 milliseconds. S wave is broader than the R wave. Here we are looking at duration of R and S waves, not at the amplitudes. In lead V1, the R wave peak time is greater than 50 milliseconds. In leads V5 and V6, there is a normal R wave peak time. T wave changes are also there. T wave is inverted or negative in lead V1 and it is positive in V5 and V6. After fulfilling all the criteria of right bundle branch block, now we can confidently say that this patient has right bundle branch block in his ECG. I would like to add one more important point here. If ECG fulfills all the criteria of right bundle branch block except that QRS duration is less than 120 milliseconds, then it is called incomplete right bundle branch block. This was a simple method to identify whether ECG shows right bundle branch block or not. Thank you for watching this video.